Hi guys, today we're gonna be making a objective system and right now it's only gonna be with triggers later I might make one with um, when you pick up items if you guys want to but let's get started so what I've done so far is I just created ground using a three object cube and then I sized scaled it up Now we're gonna go into assets. Okay, one second. Assets. Um, we're standard assets. Characters. First person. Prefabs. First person controller. And then edited. So maybe like one, five, three, anything really. And okay, so we got our um. FPS controller, so we're gonna tag this player. Now let's make a 3D object cube and then let's make this the trigger. So this is like the completion, so when you complete the objective and then let me go here objective and we're gonna drag the FPS controller here object cube let's make like a quick level Oof. I'm gonna use this Okay, and then we're gonna name this walls empty then walls or no um level drag the ground here. Okay, so we got that. Let's add this to walls just for it to look different and then this to the triggers. Actually we don't need anything, never mind. We're gonna turn off mesh rendering so we won't be able to see. And let me drag it right here. And then let me drag this right here. There, so we got this set up. Now we're going to click on the objective and complete, make it is trigger. So, okay, I have put the scripts in the description, and what it's going to be called is objective, and this is what's going to show. Pretty simple. We're going to make UI canvas, and then rename this ob. Objectives. I don't know. Let's just name it Canvas because one thing I want to do is just a quick crosshair. Okay, we got a quick crosshair done. And now we're going to make a UI Text Smash Pro. Let's make it black, um, bold, and then we're going to drag it up. So 2D mode right here, canvas, Textness Pro, objective one text. And we're going to drag this up and we're going to make size it this oh yeah one more thing we're gonna go canvas scale with screen size 192 180 so it looks better 
so it's gonna look like that we're gonna drag now we're now we're gonna do that um, um, set the text up now we're just gonna drag it up and then you know size it up do the sides and we got this we can just delete this and let's move this out of the canvas for now so we're gonna do um, let's name this t objective animation doesn't matter what you name it click record one okay so there's two ways we can do it we can leave it right here and we can make it fade and fade out so if we just do AF it's like or like a, that we could either make it fade out or fade in fade out or what we can do is make it come in or come into the screen and come out of the screen so there's two ways or you can combine them so like we're gonna put it right here oh wait no one second let me make this disappear and we're gonna record drag it like about here we're gonna go here make the transparency all the way high so we got this now we're gonna copy this let's make it four seconds so basically we're gonna go down ta-da there's really no point of the disappearance but why not okay We've gotten that. We're gonna go to objective. Make sure it's not on loop. Now we're gonna go to the objective script. Drag the objective text to both of these. And then name it whatever you want. So let's say find exit. And then the completed text. So what that means is that we're going to make a UI raw image Hold on a second raw image and this this would be your objective panel so we're going to drag this up right here and this is going to be the objective panel I'm not going to quite make it yet but you will just like add um, text to this and then you click tab or whatever button you want and it's gonna turn on so we're gonna say find exit so whatever you want the objective to be and then we're gonna size it up right there make it like that fold we're gonna copy this again objectives and we're gonna go to the objective again drag the okay one second let me name this objective completed I'm just gonna name it that but you can name it whatever you want so we've gotten that ready now we're gonna go to the complete trigger so when you pass this trigger it's gonna change it to objective complete so we got here so we're gonna drag the objective complete here and then objective complete or whatever you want to name it and I believe we set it up uh, I don't think we missed anything yeah we didn't so we, we can't see it yet because we didn't pass the trigger when we pass the trigger find exit and then you can see the um, text right here that popped up when we go here objective complete and it's gonna delete itself and voila now you could make multiple objectives and um, align them so they won't mess up or like they won't overlap so you could either size it down or figure out um, a way or you could do auto size so if I go here 
no here objective complete auto size and then let's make the minimum 10 So when I go here, it's not going to be big. You can see the text again. And it looks everything. Uh, and then an objective complete and it's not overlapping. So it's super simple. And I can sh go over the scripts. So let me just delete that. So we got the objective. So basically what happened is that when the game starts, the complete bool is going to be false. The text, the it, we're going to take getting the component text mesh pro, and then what we're doing is that the the description which is the this thing description is um whatever you type in it it's gonna show in the text. So basically, if you type uh, let's say like we just type something and we play it's showing that text as the uh what is it called the objective so if we see it here you didn't see it because it's black <coughs> if we like look at this direction we should be able to see it see okay so that's what that does the description the string and then this text is set active false which is this what happened what is happening is that when this is turned on it's going to play it's gonna play that animation so there's no point of an animator for this so that's no one way to do it and then we got this completed text which is false which the completed text is the um the text in the objective tab this right here it's going to set active false and when you pass the trigger or go through the trigger it's going to set active true turn on so right here we got void on trigger enter and collider other which is basically when you go through the trigger, it's going to activate anything that's inside here. And you, it's really important, this if other dot tag equal whatever tag you want. So you, this could be reads to or anything you want. Um, and so then you're, so the FPS controller has a tag right here, which is player, right? And then basically what's happening is it's searching a game object that if it crosses through and its tag is player it's going to do this so it's going to set active true the text and then the completed text is going to set active true that's what the objective script does now the complete script objective complete script is there's a public bool public string and then the text mesh pro ugui text and when we when we do void on trigger enter collider other, it's gonna turn on or it's gonna tick on the complete or the bool is will be true and then that it's gonna do text to text equals text complete dot to string. The text complete is the string right here, and the text is this and it does the same thing the description does. Void start text dot text equals get component dot text mesh pro G U G I which is just getting the uh component which is wait this component and then there's the I numerator wait for seconds um three seconds and then it destroys the text immediately. So here's a problem. So if you I if you have to figure out how to do with the pickup key for um, user one productions, because if the 
enumerator or the game ob I mean the game object is not on it won't play the it won't the start quarantine won't work so if I like turn this off so this is the objective complete right so if I turn this off Find exit, go here. It doesn't work because it's not on, but basically what happens is that it's going to give you a, um error which says that the game object isn't on, so it won't be able to do the star coroutine. So that's a problem I'm trying to um, fix. Pretty simple to fix it and yeah so then it does the start coroutine when you trigger it and destroys the text immediately so that's how you do the game i mean that's how you do the objective system uh, again i'll link i'll put the link to the google documents or the not the google document the file um with all the scripts and everything and yeah I hope you enjoy. Bye.